All right, so in this part, we're gonna be talking about pedals, and we're gonna be talking about how you can kind of mix amplifiers. Uh, so the very basic starting point is stereo and mono input. Mono, you have one single input going into one single output. And stereo output, you basically have one input being split up into multiple outputs, usually two. I have this split up into three, and it's kind of weird. So from there, you need to know what two bypass and uh, uh, regular bypasses. True bypass straight up splits the signal into two, like two different signals, two outputs. Well, as um, something that's not true bypass, and the term is completely escaping me right now, but just like regular bypass or digital bypass, I think is what it's called, is where it will split up the one signal into two. Um, halves of that same signal so as to where you have two you have one input getting split into two direct outputs you're having the same signal being split in half so it's kind of weird and it's kind of tricky it's, it's tough to explain it but if i if i was if i might be able to try and do it on here i don't know if i can because i strictly buy all two bypass pedals to avoid that but i might be able to replicate it with this digital delay here because i can split up that uh I have multiple outputs here and I might be able to split it up so that you can hear it. So first off, let me set this guy down. Let's see if I can set it somewhere. Okay, so for the first trick I'm going to show you here, I'm going to show you the difference between that uh, uh, the clean channel and the dirty channel. So here's clean. And that's about right in smack dab in the middle of the volume on my guitar. I'm leaving all the amps at the, at the current settings that I have them. Now I'm changing to dirty channels on both the Fender and the, uh, the Marshall here. the difference between clean and overdriven. I'm going to leave it on the dirty channels and we're going to turn on what's called the flanger. So the flange basically like messes with the uh, the EQ on the guitar and it like squeezes it and stretches it. So you get this uh, really cool kind of effect where the sound sounds like it's getting squeezed and then like stretched. <laughs> overdrive pedals and you can you kind of get that 70s kind of vibe from them so that's what a flange does now the tremolator trem is really cool because it basically takes the signal and like chops it up and it literally bends the wave of the uh of the signal and that's where you get these kind of crazy like bouncing like you get this weird like bouncing effect to it <laughs> with the settings on it so I can speed it up. Slow it down. Thank you. 
kind of cool about all these pedals. A lot of these sounds are all like discovered on accident. So all of this is just one big giant like experimental toolbox. So from there you get my favorite pedal, which is called the delay. So the delay literally delays your playing in certain different millisecond increments. And you can do a bunch of crazy stuff. So you can kind of get these like... good on both channels because if I clean it up here and I do That's the thing about delays, if you screw it up, well then it's going to repeat all your screw ups. So from there you have a chorus pedal. And a chorus is very similar to uh, sounding to how the, what a flange does, but a chorus is basically a little bit of a delay and then it changes the, uh, the pitch. And it's very, uh, it's a lot faster than how a delay does it. But you get this kind of weird um, swooping kind of a, of a deal. pedal which like way overdrives the signal for the amplifier so you get like crazy crunch out of your guitar you can have uh, overdrive pedals which kind of boosts that like 70s funk kind of vibe um, harmonic pedals where it'll step up the uh, it'll step up the uh, the octave or whatever you're playing on your guitar synthesizer pedals volume controls wah pedals so it's kind of a really expensive rabbit hole to get down, but that's just kind of a brief overview of some of the sounds that you can get. And real quick, I'll, circling back to what stereo and mono are, I have this in stereo output so that my one input from the guitar is coming in, and one output is going to the box, and then the other one is being split, and one is going to the Marshall and to the Fender. And that way, I can I can have every guitar amp at a different setting. So I can have a completely clean setting on the Marshall and dirty on the Fender. Clean on the Fender, dirty on the Vox, and clean on the Marshall. I can really, it gives me like literally like 100,000 different ways to adjust all the EQ settings on the, on the amps, on my guitar, on all the pedals, and mix for the whatever sound that I'm going for in the moment. So... That's how this is set up, and that's just kind of a brief uh, overview on how the pedals work, and uh, I hope that helps.